All right, morning guys. Quick video. Jumping on the uh, slitting bandwagon. I got our field, well, I got this left hand field that's sort of been rested at the moment, slit maybe a week ago. Or maybe two weeks ago. Either way, I got it done. So we have to do our fields as soon as we possibly can because they go like concrete being on clay land. This is our slitter. You'll have seen it in my slitting video that I put up a few years ago. Very similar to Casto's. However, I'm pretty sure these uh, hexagonal plates are much bigger, much larger diameter, and obviously it'd be a heavier machine. But he was saying about um, trying to get these knives to sort of be on an angle or twisted to make a bigger hole. And what I did a few years ago with this, not with that intention, but uh, it turned out that way. I took these two, these are on a square shaft in the middle and obviously they're a hexagon plate and I took them two off the end and turned them 90 degrees so that the teeth aren't in line because when we had it originally you'd have four teeth here that were all in a line so when you were pulling it you'd have a well it'd be yorping up tractor all the time it sort of eat as each tooth went into the ground it would uh, yeah, it wasn't pleasant to use. So what I did was I turned it that 90 degrees and now you can see the four teeth at this side are staggered, which makes it run smoother when you're pulling it. But the other thing it does is when it's going into the ground, it doesn't sort of run flat. It kind of goes in at one side, then goes in at the other side, then goes in at that side. And it means that the knives are sort of turning and it leaves a slightly bigger hole. I mean, it wasn't that wasn't the intention when I turned that round. But it sort of worked out that way. But, uh, yeah, that's the old slitter. Bloody heavy, but I'm just moving it back into back into the shed and buy it is handy to have a digger instead of instead of having to hang it on a tractor. I've got one new bolt and I can just pick it up and be on the way with it. But uh, yeah, that's what I did with this one. I just took this end cap off and there, just straight on that square shaft took this sort of unit because they're fastened together off, turned it 90, put it back on and that means that the teeth are staggered and it pulls it pulls a bit smoother and these kind of go from one side to the other and the teeth don't go into the ground quite straight which gives you a slightly bigger hole. Whether or not that's beneficial I don't know but uh, that's what I did. This one's Desperately needing some new tines that are getting a bit short. They're maybe only, I don't know, five inches, which is a bit short, really. And you can see they have the bolt holes for starting out with a longer tooth, and these have been worn right down, as it were. But there's a lot of them, and I don't fancy cutting them all out. <laughs> but yeah, it's a good machine, it does the job. It's a bit narrow, it's like it's only a five foot one. Uh, for our little fields, it does the job. So I'll just have a quick look. I've, uh, like I say, it's been a couple of weeks. Probably a week. Probably, probably two weeks, I think, since I did this. And like you can see, where I put a ditch in last year for grip for surface water from the farm. And uh, yeah, you can still see me. Uh, the slits. You can see how they're slightly wider at the top than they are at the bottom, and I think that was to do with it going in sideways or going on a slight angle. But yeah, the trick with this land is you have to you have to do it as soon as you possibly can because otherwise that slitter won't even. If I brought it out now, it wouldn't even go in two inches because these fields are that solid. But uh, yeah, you can just see it's done a slightly bigger job you can actually see a bit of a bit of exposed root the other thing I did with this field was I took some tillage on it the same sort of day which I think has just about got it there's a bit of, a bit of residue but uh, it's greening up just for not having the horses on it to be honest and there's that side over there and I'll walk to the top and get you a good line of the difference between having horses and not having horses <laughs> oh yeah there's the sledges 
winter storage because I don't have anywhere for it. <laughs> yeah, left hand side new horses. We took them out pretty much as it got wet in at the start of winter we took them out and then right hand side is the field that they've been in and I mean I've rolled this field mm, three or four times now because you just have to as soon as once it's drivable we just keep rolling it in and rolling it in as they chew it up to try and save it a bit but uh, it doesn't look good at this top end I'll say that <laughs> but yeah this field's coming back quite nice no, another week because I just uh, got out and got my dock and sprayed off yesterday just with some greys on just walk around with little little handheld sprayer and just spot spray them so there's another week of not having horses which is which will do it good but yeah there's the slits like I say I did it when it was quite wet and it just just it just has to be dry enough not to leave a rut switch tractor but uh, yeah And that's what it sort of looks like. I'm waiting for this top bit to grow back. It should do because I mean, what I, what I did when I dug the ditch was I kept the topsoil. And if you, I don't know if you can see. Maybe if you, I built that slight little berm up just to keep because we used to have um, all the sort of runoff from the muck heap and everything would run sort of straight straight on and down middle of the field which left a horrible well real wet spot at the top so I dug this ditch out last year when it was just dry enough and just piped it under the gateway so there's a land drain that runs down here which is in good shape so I just piped it into that but anyway I'm getting off topic so there you go that's my slitting sort of regime jumping on the bandwagon a bit but uh, and I would love to have a nice like three meter slitter modern one with um, all the uh, knives staggered like farmer Piers that'd be just lovely you go along at sort of the same speed you would roll in I know with this you have to go bloody slow because it's that rough it's that rough on tractor better for staggering them but Man, back when we first used it, it was uh, first or second gear low box because it was so rough. Anyway, this video is getting a bit long. Uh, apologies for the shakiness. I'm just filming it on my phone. I haven't got, haven't got my camera out. <laughs> yeah, that's that. There should be some videos coming up this week of that old girl or that young girl, depending on. Depending on what you're into to old and new, going out on hire, so that's alright. Gets me a nice job for a week sitting down. <laughs> anyway, I'm waffling on. Alright, cheers for watching. Bye.